April the 2nd and today is the day I go and get my pre-op done. Um, it's pretty early. It's about uh, 7.15 in the morning. So I'm here waiting for my car to come pick me up so I can head there and get this thing on a roll. I'm still not nervous. I'm still in good spirit. Really just more ready for it to be over with. But yes, I'm so excited and I'll catch y'all there when we get there. I was kind of in and out. It was only like two other ladies in there with me. So I'm super excited. They said they'll let me know what time to come in for my surgery um, after 5.30 today. So I will know that later. And what else? I mean, it was pretty easy breezy. Like I got in and got out. It was like 45 minutes. It was a big booklet. I showed y'all that while I was in there that I had to fill out this basically telling me everything I need to be aware about and just basically signing my life over. <laughs> but super excited. I cannot wait. I'm not really nervous. I'll probably be nervous once I get there and I'll really be nervous because like nobody can go in there with me. So my mom won't be able to go in there with me. So that I think will make me nervous because like I have to be without anybody being in there with me. But Right now I'm cool. I'm just gonna wait until Monday. So now we can just chill. Um, I cannot eat or drink anything eight hours before surgery. So she said eat as much as I can now and drink a lot of fluids as I can now before surgery. So I'll be doing that and eating all I can. Okay, eating all I can because I won't be able to eat all of this stuff as much once I get the surgery, so that's about it. I'll catch y'all a little later. I'm still not nervous. 
I don't know. I did my prayer this morning. Um, I'm gonna be talking to God all day today, okay? But yeah, I did my prayer this morning and I'm still feel good. I'm not really nervous. I have a little into fancy, tinty, little nerves, you know, trying to do something. But I think it's my set over everything. I just know that this is gonna be a successful surgery. And at this point, I can't back out. So I need to have a positive mindset. So I really haven't had any, you know, nerves try to overpower the good that I have going on. So, but yes, I'm excited. How are you feeling? Good. Are you nervous? I'm um, anticipating the finished work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's nerves. I'm not like, you know, I, I slept really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, I slept really good last night. But, um, yeah, I don't have a problem this morning. Like, I, I'm at peace. Yeah. We saged. Yes, we did we say this last prayer. night. Yes, we're, we're good. good. So, I just feel like, you know, everything is going to be okay. Of course, the pain part. I think if I was to say I was nervous about anything, it's just the after. Like, the pain. I don't take pain well. But hopefully it won't be hard trying to get the medicine that we need. I'm just talking about my mask. But yeah, hopefully it won't be hard trying to get prescri the prescription, um, the medicine that I and prescribed but yeah i've already told my mom what i want to eat after well i really didn't even tell you what i want to eat you said the smoothie yeah i just said the smoothie because you know i don't really know how my stomach was gonna be i know i can't just put something heavy on it so i really just want to get a smoothie that has all the good stuff in it um that way i won't be as hungry but i do have some little things at, at the hotel that i can snack on if i do get hungry um, but i'll probably be sleep all day honestly so yes it's right on our way and i will get right back with y'all when we are there <laughs> She digi, the schedule was busy My head in a hoodie, my shorty a goodie My cousins are crazy, my cousins like boogie Life is amazing, it is what it should be Been here for ten, but I feel like a rookie I tell her look up, cause it's snowing in tussies Booked for three years, man, you can't even book me It's me and Lil Baby, the going crazy Weezy produced it, and Weezy have made me And she held it down, so she got a Mercedes Your money records, the army, the navy It ran me ten thousand, I threw it like Brady The foreign is yellow, like Tracy and Katie I trust in my they never betray me Met all these I'm just sorry to get this over I don't know where his office is. Mommy. Yo. Huh? We don't speak that. Huh? They never betray me. Met all these, they sweeter than Sadie. When I started out, I just took what they gave me. Did all the favors, they never repay me. It worked in my favor, cause nobody said no whip, got no keys. Tell them I told no stops, please. I'm waiting to be called back. Yeah, so they called about what five girls ahead of me. Um, so now I'm just gonna say they're saving the best for last, and I'm gonna be the last girl. I'm okay with that because I'm gonna get the best result. <laughs> but I'm just waiting to be called back. <sighs> My mom's still here. So they just talked to me, talking about my hemo levels are too low. They don't have my updated labs. So I'm the only one in here still waiting. So we'll see what happens. Um, but I did get my hemo levels up. So I don't know why they don't have that on file. Like I wouldn't be here if my hemo levels were low. They wouldn't even accept me. So they should know that, but whatever. I'm still waiting. It's about, what time is it? 7.30. 7.30. So I've almost been here for hours waiting. 
um all the other girls that were in here with me have already went back so i don't know if that's why they took longer with me or what but yeah whatever two hours later Two hours later, I finally got back. Gotta take a big test. It's really real. I just seen the doctor. The doctor just came in and mopped me up. So I guess next, the anesthesiologist will be coming in and I'll be going in, y'all. <laughs> He's super nice, super nice. I'm so excited. I could not wait. I'm still not nervous. I don't know why it's not hitting me. Good vibes. I'm excited. <laughs> I'll catch y'all on the flat side. Okay, so we just picked her up from the surgery center. And she's in a pretty good amount of pain. I actually, that's her back there. She's covered in her robe right now. But I actually um, have been here for quite some time. And, and um, I was told to come and get her like at one something. And they're just now bringing her out. And it's. No, I was told to come get her at like 12.45 and they're just not bringing her out and it's 2 o'clock. So, I don't like waiting, so therefore, that's an issue for me. But she's out. I'm going now to get the prescriptions filled. Um, I gave her the Arnica pellets. Hopefully, that helps a little bit. She is laying on her stomach and um she said she was hungry but she's not eating yet so she can't eat anything today only soups mashed potato and um like smoothies and stuff so i guess i'll be getting a lot of smoothies today Ugh, i'm sorry sorry i'm trying to i'm trying to miss the bump I don't know uh, where to go first for prescription, but we're going to try, we're going to try the um, Publix. She's going to have to stay here by herself, so I don't like that, but let's see how we can go to do right now. I have to drain her. Um, I have to do her drainages because they're already full um, because she's been in there for so long with this surgery already done they have not um, they did not drain them they didn't do anything so I am going to uh, have to hurry and get her to the hotel and get her situated because she already needs to have her um, Faha cleaned, but I can't take it off. Um, she's just gonna have to thug it out till tomorrow. But for right now, I'm just gonna try to find a pharmacy. Um, Florida is so packed everywhere you go that I really just don't know a place where people don't go. Because I just left out of Walmart. This morning we were in Walmart at 7 o'clock. And it was absolutely empty. Went into Walmart right then. And all 52 and a half lanes that they have. Were jam packed. So. I'm going to try my best. To not disrupt any of her peace right now. And um check back with you later once we get to the hotel.
pain on her stomach and she said it was very uncomfortable. So now she's on her knees and she said that feels better. But they kept her in there for so long that like she's already soaked. So I'm just gonna take her to the room. I gotta come back out in two hours and get her prescription. Cause that at least Publix had it all, but they it takes them two hours to fill it. So I'm gonna go and get her situated. I know, like I hope so, because um, I'm, I'm gonna get her situated um, and come back out and just basically be in a face to make them hurry up. Okay, Lauren, they got me cleaning. They got me doing the drains. Did them mugs just pop off? Okay. I know. I got to change. <laughs> hard to walk <clears throat> it's hard to stand up straight mm -mm. so you don't feel any pain in your stomach and i'm surprised because i'm like you have to take fat out and you took it and my back but you know how to take fat out your back too but i only feel everything in my booty do you um think you needed the pain medicine or you could have got by with the tylenol Actually, the Tylenol did, did work, but the um, other medicine is better. I probably just, like, 
use that for like my massages because my massages don't hurt. Cause so I really could, yeah, I could do with the taller and shrimp because I took what three. Mhm. Mm I took three of those, and I feel good. I just went right back to sleep, and you took gave me those. What is what is it that you can or can't eat today? Um, I can only eat soft foods. So I just been drinking a smoothie all day. What kind of smoothie? It has avocado, kale, I think pineapple. Um, I'm not sure of anything else. Uh, mm -hmm. All I added chia seeds, which is good for protein. But when I was talking to my best friend earlier, I did kind of feel nauseated. Did I take a nausea? Do I have nausea? Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to have to take nausea because, like, right now I feel kind of. Nauseated. Are you still lightheaded? Mm -mm. Should we stop? Mm -hmm. What are we looking at, Alton? I'm feeling nauseated. sleep really good for a minute I did get up to just sleep on my knees over the couch that was kind of comfortable but I felt all my blood going to my knees so I went back to my bed but this morning I did wake up my stomach was really hurting yesterday I didn't really have pain in my stomach but oh my tarnation I don't do spiders y'all <laughs> But it just really feels like I got hit by a bus. But it's tolerable. My mom tried to touch me on my back. I screamed. Like, it hurts really bad. And it, it's not like a hurt hurt. It's just like a sore hurt. So, I got to get in the car. Give me a second. Hold on. This car is so uncomfortable. So I'd rather just sit on my knees than to lay down because it's so uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Look at that dream. Mm -hmm. like this because it's more comfortable this way <sighs> but yeah headed to my post-op appointment i'm hoping that it's quick i get my first massage today dreading it um i did have to take some pain medicine this morning i'm trying not to take it so much because i know i'm gonna need it like for my massages and i know they didn't give me that many so my Tylenol extra strength really helps, but like I said this morning, I woke up with a new pain, which was on my stomach. But yeah, y'all, I'm out of breath. I'll see y'all when I get there.
ability but I can engage my voice. Good morning. 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 I'm making a change today. The liquor been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. So I just talked to the nurse. She said my body looks good. This is my first time seeing it, and I have to agree. Of course, my stomach is swollen, but I have the body of my dreams. I'm so excited. Now I'm just waiting for Dr. Meridian to come and look at my body. Um and she just basically broke down to me everything that needs to be done when it comes to like my dream what i need to eat things like that but my stomach feels so stiff with my paha off but i'm pleased i'm so pleased all of this is definitely worth it and i've been positive this whole journey so I got what I wanted by being positive. As long as you're positive and have a good mindset, it'll all work out. And you know, I know this is gonna be pain that I have to deal with, but like I said, it's all worth it because I got the body that I wanted. So I just basically just need to make sure I eat right to keep it up. And um, don't sit on my butt. I cannot sit on my butt for seven or eight weeks. And I can only be out of my faha one hour out of the day. So the doctor just came in. He said everything looks good. I'm very curvy. He said he wished there was something he could tell me, but there isn't. So um, that's a good thing. I've been standing here for like an hour though, waiting for her to come help me put my faha back on. Wish she would hurry up because I feel. I feel kind of weird without it on. So I've just been walking around with this chair in my room. Yeah, Dr. Meridian came in, it was in and out. So it was real quick, I didn't even get the video in. <laughs> yeah, now it's time for me to, like I said, wait on her. And then I'm gonna go back to the hotel room, probably stop and get me some meat, I'm starving. And then head back to the hotel room and wait for my massage therapist to come. I do believe that she is coming to my hotel room, so oh, I just got all this white stuff on my face. I did wash my face this morning, but uh, some stuff just won't come off. But yeah, um, overall right now I do feel okay. Um, I did take a pain medicine this morning, so that's good. <clears throat> that's why I'm not really hurting right now. I just really want to go lay down. I've been standing up too long, trying to wait on the doctor. Now the doctor is here, and now I'm still. Now I gotta wait on the nurse to put my faha back on. Do need to go to the mall to actually go buy me probably two more fahas. Cause like this one right here is filthy, as you can see. So, but yeah, everything's everything. Everything's good over here. I love my body. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I can't wait for you guys to see it. <clears throat> and I'll catch you back with y'all later. Okay, y'all. The massage therapist just got here. My mom went downstairs to let her up. They done scratch me. And don't mind my nail because I couldn't get my pinky nail off. If you wear the acrylic, you know that the pinky nail is the one that's the hardest to take off. But anyways... My hair is not as cute anymore. <laughs> but I'm going to get this massage. Lord, be with me. 
y'all pressing me. I need to go put my mask on. So I'll go do that while she comes. Good morning, y'all. So, I definitely abandoned y'all yesterday. I apologize. Yesterday was kind of hard for me. So, yesterday morning, I woke up, got my second massage, and it went really, really good, okay? I got a different girl from the first time I got my massage, and she was, like, very gentle with me. Like, she was working with me, like... She just had patience, unlike the other girl. So I had to email them, the people that I went through to tell them, hey, I want this lady for the rest of my massages for the week because she's nice and gentle. So my massage went good. Then after that, y'all, I didn't have a bowel movement. So yesterday I finally had my bowel movement, but it was really, really, really difficult for me. Really difficult. Um, I was like on the toilet for like an hour, over an hour, trying to push out. Um, I was very clogged up. TMI, sorry, I'm just letting y'all know the real. But I was very clogged up. Um, I didn't know for a second there if I was gonna have to go to the hospital because that's how bad it was. Um, so after that, I finally got it all out. I did take uh, two um, stool softeners and I took Miralix, but it was just all clogging up. So I guess it just was like super hard for me. So after that was said and done, um, I took pain medicine. I, I was sleep off and on yesterday. Um, last night I did keep sweating. I was sweating a lot. In my sleep, um, I don't know what that was about, but I could not like get cold. Like I was just hot all the time. So now it's a new day. It is Thursday, which means I'm um, what three days post op. So I feel good. Um, I just went and bought me a new faha. Let me show y'all how it look. So this is the new faha. I literally just threw it on but this is my shape um, I have a little diaper on right here so that's what y'all see um, because I tried it on and I have to get my massages soon here so I didn't take it off because this mug is tight okay it's tight. So I was like, I'm not finna, I'm not finna deal with it. So I'm gonna just keep it on until my massage. So now I'm just waiting for her to get here. My mom had to go return our car. So for the rest of the day, I'll probably be keeping it in. I my mom to go pick me up some avocado toast that helps feed the fat. I really have a hard time with avocado. I don't like avocado. Um, but I've been eating everything else like salmon, chicken, drink a smoothie with avocado in it. So I'm just hoping, you know, good enough. But yes, I'm starting to look a bum again. Here we go again. But it'll all pay off at the end of the day. I'm super excited. I love my shape. This is like definitely life changing, um, but I'm here for it. I'm just glad the surgery part is over. I'm ready for my massage. Um, I still have been draining. Um, I'm trying to see if they can uh, take out my joints before I leave Saturday because I don't wanna have to deal with the hustle of trying to find somebody to take it out. So we'll see about that. I don't know. I have to wait for them to call me back. But yes, guys, um, other than the whole bowel movement yesterday, I've been feeling okay and you know, just been feeling hot. But yeah, I'll probably to check it back in with you guys a little later, but that is 
from yesterday's update and a little of today's update so yes thank y'all thank y'all thank y'all for tuning in and i'll catch y'all a little later your chain away that's kind of like giving your fame away what's wrong with you i sit in a box where the owners do a boss is a road that i've grown into i love you to death but i told you the truth i can't just be with you i'm only you yeah i got one virtual got one in that dead the only two man how many times have i shown and proved man how many nights i've been woke swerving the potholes not trying to fuck up the wheel okay my massage lady is here she should be coming up soon so I'm gonna see if I can get her to say hi to y'all. Hi. hi. How are you? I'm good. good day. I'm good. Why do you walk like this? Straight. Straight, honey. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? The best massage therapist <laughs> ever. Okay. Getting ready for my last massage. I'm getting ready for my last massage in Miami. This is sad time, but a happy time. I'm ready to go back home. You took my heart, I'm asleep for decoration You mistaken my love, I brought for you for foundation All that I wanted from you was to give me Something that I never had Something that you never seen Something that you never been Hola, you guys Today is day four of my post -op. It's like the end of the day now I didn't check in with you guys But today has been a pretty good day I went to, I got my massage this morning, my last one. And then after that, I went to back to my doctor, hoping that they would take this drain out, but they would not. Um, they said it's too soon. Um, they didn't want me to get an infection or anything. So they said that they wanted me to keep, supposed to keep your drain in for um, seven to 10 days. I guess I'm just gonna have to either figure out if I'm gonna go to an urgent care or have my mom just take it out because I've seen some people tell me that all I have to do is just, you know, look up some YouTube videos and my mom can do it easily. Um, but she's a little freaked out by it. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do in that regard. But um, I've been feeling okay today. My stomach has been hurting. I did cheat on eating today. I'm not going to be perfect on eating, but I'm, I am trying. I am a work in progress. Um, I did eat hootis today. Like, I wouldn't say they were plain, but they had lemon pepper seasoning on it. And I ate like a few of those. And some french fries. Yeah. And my mom just ordered some pizza. <laughs> but I just got some cinnamon sticks. I'm not going to eat all of it. Today has been a pretty good day. Um, we go home tomorrow. I'm excited about that. I'm ready to go home. Miami has been good to us, but it's time to go. Um, we've been here for seven days, eight days, ten, ten days. We came on the 31st. Come on, yes. Woo, we've been here for ten days. Oh my god. We've been in Miami for 10 days. Um, as you guys know, we were here first to celebrate my mom's birthday. If you didn't see that vlog, please make sure you go check that out because I know that I've already posted it on my channel. And there's our food. Oh, I don't know how we got so much luggage. Let me try to show y'all. We got all that luggage over there. And then you got the handicap meeting. So we're gonna have to leave pretty early. 
in the morning just so we don't be all stuck in stuff like that so yes this is a crazy process i have but i've been drinking a lot of pineapple juice um i really just been drinking my pineapple juice i drank my green smoothie today um ate some walnuts I'm trying to get this whole healthy thing underway. I will do better, um, especially once I'm back home and we got an oven and a stove and I can cook. So I've been eating good. Today is like my only day since my surgery that I'm just like balling out. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm just ready to go back home and be in my own environment and. Uh, We'll see how the next days goes. I will update you guys.